I'm here today to give you an update on ICP. Cold hard cash was made from last week. Amazing stuff there. I did say um, last week, ICP overall looking really quite bullish. No, it's not, it's not bullish. Bearish, guys. Really bearish, right? We did have... Um, <laughs> I messed that up, right? We did have um, a descending triangle coming through here, guys. Looking for a break to the lower side. Actually, it was a double descending triangle coming through from um, on the lower side of a, of a downtrend, right? So that obviously indicates a leg down there. In terms of a low point for ICP that has been set, unfortunately, guys, we have set that low point around $24 there and still cascading down from there. Still looking really quite bad, I would say. Let's talk about the breakdown scenarios um, that we were weighing up, right? The breakdown scenarios that we were weighing up here was this measure move coming through from here. And this obviously from last week when we were discussing on my on my video last week, guys. Um, and as you can see, um, this is the measure move down that we were looking for around 28% there. Um, so yeah, well done to anyone who did jump involved with that. Actually slightly over that 28% there. But yeah, that's definitely the the the... The, 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 the take profit I would have been looking for there. Amazing stuff there. Uh, around 28% there, guys. So, yeah, well done to anyone who got involved with that. And that's obviously just one move to the downside. This is the move to the upside that we were also weighing up as well. Um, but, um, obviously, it was insanely bullish and we did dump to the downside. That was the more likely scenario. But, as I said, we do like to weigh up most scenarios coming through here. Just looking at this, um, let's jump to the, I'd say let's jump to the weekly ever so quickly. Just because um, now what we need to be looking for here, guys, is... Actually, a weekly candle close above this $28.61 there. If we can get a weekly candle close above that, then I would be, um, it does look bullish to actually bang it back up to 40. But um, in order for that to happen, then we need to see some seriously positive price action um, on the daily chart, right? And as you can see here, guys, we haven't really had a congruent daily candle close below this sort of zone, maybe ever so slightly um, properly below this zone um, as of yet. Um, so we really need to actually bang it up in the next 13 hours because if we do get a nice candle body close below this zone, then it's going to be looking really quite bad for setting lower lows in terms of this um, macro downtrend, right? And that's not what we want, as we just discussed on the weekly. If we do get a nice weekly candle close above this area as well, then it is going to be looking nice for a leg up from there, right? Now, in terms of like um, an accumulation phase, in terms of a buying sort of scenario right now, at this point in time, we don't know the bottom, right? We don't really know the bottom because we haven't really had that congruent candle close there. Um, so when we do get that, as I was just saying, that's going to be give us a really good... um indication of where we're going to be going here, right? It's going to be a good indication of where we're going to be going. And um, for now, I'm just kind of waiting, right? I'm just kind of waiting for um, for ICP for a, for a buying opportunity because um, I do believe in the tech. I do believe it's going to do very, very well in the future. But um, I just think uh, it's just a very, very bearish chart. And it took a big hit due to Bitcoin obviously falling. Um, but I'm not going to stop investing in this. I am going to keep buying it um, because I think overall it's... Uh, if you haven't done any research on ICP, guys, it's, it's a very, very, very... Um, undervalued technology at this point in time and it's going to do very very well in the future um so yeah i do think uh, as i was saying that in terms of um an accumulation point to be looking out for that i'm going to be waiting for this candle close and finding um some sort of direction from there if we can if we candle close below 28.14 there i would be looking for lower prices there and that's definitely where, where we're going to be looking for the absolute low of around that 24.20 there's definitely going to be some bounce point coming through there but yeah in terms of an instigation of a buying point that's definitely a point to be looking out for there now let's jump down to the shorter term time frames and see what we've really got going on there because I would say just slightly interesting is we do obviously have um, a humongous downtrend, right? The humongous downtrend, the humongous breakout coming through from there. But from there, we do actually have a bit of a bear flag scenario, right? A bit of a bear flag scenario. Oh, no, no. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's a parallel channel. Bear flag is the other way up. Sorry, it completely confused me there. Um, but yeah, as you can see there, guys, we do have a multiple levels of support here. So in terms of a bounce point from here, that's sort of the ideal scenario. As I said, candle body close above this zone would be amazing. Um, but yeah, in terms of a bounce point, because obviously it is now basically what we've got we've got a falling parallel channel these tend to usually break to the upside guys so yeah ideally what do we want for the for the rest of the sort of the day here we want to get a nice candle body close um above here for the daily and then we could be looking at a progression and then we could be looking at another breakout scenario from there um but yeah overall not too bad i mean not too bad when i say that i mean like a not too bad for um accumulation for buying up these low prices if anything this is a positive guys because we're going to be buying these low prices for when it actually does bang it back up and the lower that this goes the more money we're going to make when it actually runs so um so yeah it's it's a it's a win 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 at the end of the day right and to be honest um i did sell my icp as i was saying there guys um when I saw how bearish this was when I did the video last week, right? I did see how bearish this was and I saw, I was like, look, this is this is going to be breaking down fairly soon. So, um, so yeah, I did sell it all around this sort of area here. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all good at the end of the day. Just looking to look at a buying up opportunity now. And um, 
And yeah, that's pretty much what I would say about ICP, right? Pretty much what I would say about ICP today.